we've been live for a while. <laughs> we've been live for a while, and we just haven't realised. <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a dance of celebration to the end of quarantine my friend who lives in hong kong saying hey you haven't been having it so bad in hong kong she's like well we have been social distancing for 10 weeks now i'm like oh you were really ahead of the times <laughs> <laughs> so for those who don't know we live in england and england's actually on lockdown for three weeks we are only allowed to leave our houses if we go to our jobs as key workers which is like people who work for the health service or do food related things, um, or for your one daily exercise, or to get food and or medicine. Or medicine, or for like health appointments. Oh yeah, and um, if you're gonna go and help someone else, if you're gonna go and well, no, as they're a, in trouble. Your own, <laughs> your own personal medical appointments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you did that right. I know, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and when you're out and about, you're only allowed to be with other members of your own household. Yeah, so, kind of you live with. It's kind of interesting. I mean, we can kind of tell like who's gay. Yeah, you can reach out who's gay now. Because <laughs> it's like you uh, have to walk around yeah. next to each other, and you can't go near anyone that you're not in a house well, with. Well, you can see who. So you're like, oh, well, you live together, do you? Well, they look like kids. Holding hands, are you? Interesting. Well, I mean, that would also that would tell us that they were gay before the whole social distancing. Okay, well, you ruined it. <laughs> But it's interesting to see who lives in what household. It is, it is. However, as someone with a uh, health condition, I'm a vulnerable person. I have to stay in my house for 12 weeks, so it's yeah. the end of my first week. Claudia can leave. Well, not she really. She goes to get food. No, I don't think, because I was thinking about this, that it kind of defeats the point. It does, but no one's given us clear definition no, of this. I think I have to be self-isolated with you. Yeah. So I can't, so now we have like, when Amazon or anyone comes to deliver anything, <laughs> I just go to the porch and I go, then just like tell them to like drop Put it down, <laughs> put it down. Sometimes they're good and they'll have already put it down. They've stepped back and they're like, bye, it's there. Thanks, cool. But sometimes they stand there with your package and you're like. Well, yeah, like I opened the door. What do you want me the, to do, sir? The guy rang the bell and I opened it and then he held the package and then went to suddenly realised it and then he put it down on the floor and I'm like. What difference does it make if you just passed it to me? I wouldn't have touched your hand. I would have just taken it. We are already still anyway. Never mind. Mm. I'm going to start baking. Oh, but we were thinking, oh, thank you. A super chat from Aiden. Hi. Oh, so who says we are cute and relationship goals. Wow, yeah, thank you. Um, but yeah, so we have friends who live alone and who are self-isolating alone and have no one else. They can be near. Um, and maybe some of you guys are also alone. So we thought, let's do a little check-in live stream every week that I'm in quarantine. And we can all get together, chat, do something fun. This week, we're going to do a Baking Bad live stream. Oh, by the way, uh, people who are, sorry, Clara is not in this room, but she is typing. So when it says Jessica in the comments, in the chat, that's actually Clara, who is in her own house. She's not allowed. Yeah. Everyone's separate. So, Claudia is going to be helping me to bake banana muffins, which we have previously baked in a baking bag, and you can find the link to that down in the description, um, where you can also see the recipe for that. Oh, thank you for the heart. Hello to everyone who's joining us from the Kelvin Fraser Club. Um, if you're a member of the Kelvin Fraser Club, you have access to uh, little emojis that are kind of custom that I've we've made that have got like, the dog's faces or our faces. So if you see those popping up, that's what that is. Hi to Jenny, who just sent us a super sticker. Oh. Did you want me to just carry on? What? Did you want me to just, like, You can say what you're doing. Oh. I'm just chatting, I sorry. 220 grams of gluten-free flour in something, and then I've just put some flaxseed meal. What is this? This is actually flaxseed and chia seeds. Yeah, to be fair, this is a mix of milled flax seeds and chia seeds and some whole. But I can't like take the whole ones out to just give you the meals. So. <laughs> it's alright, we get the idea. You get what you get. There we go. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, I think we just had a super chat from Angela. Hi, Angela. He says, just on my lunch break from the grocery store, thank you for this fun break. You are welcome. We are here to just make people feel good. One teaspoon of my half. Yeah. I know one teaspoon is a level teaspoon, honey. Okay, I do now. I just put one heat. 
tablespoon of flaxseed oh, meal. Oh, no, okay. no, it needs to be heaped. The recipe will say heaped. Otherwise, it's smooth. All right. Do you remember when we got sent? Oh no. See, the thing is, right? We're having our kitchen redone. Oh, we have a new member. Hey, Roxanne. Yeah. Okay. Wrong thing. Wearing a black top. I mean, it's already got flour on yourself. Okay, so don't inappropriate touching, darling. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Good chase touching. Oh, hi. Yeah, right. What was I saying? So, our kitchen um, is being done. If you've been watching our Instagram stories, you'll know that there's currently a trench outside of our kitchen window where the builders have dug down and they've now filled it oh, halfway yeah. up with cement. You look adorable. No, look at that. Back up. Back up so they can see. Oh, look at her go. She's so cute. She's so cute. I got my little apron on. Mine's just a half apron. Ooh, hi. <laughs> oh, and hello to Adrian Bonneville, who's also a new member, and a lovely super chat from Julia, who says, hi, you need a Wi-Fi booster in the kitchen. Yeah. Half a teaspoon of salt. What would happen if I moved the computer closer to this end of the kitchen? What is, what's would the Wi Fi improve? Um, let's see if that works. <laughs> oh, oh. Whoa, careful, let me move stuff from the other side. It's our plan to boost the Wi Fi. Did that help? I mean, I guess I need to give it a minute for you guys to actually respond. It still has been blocked up. <laughs> oh, <Hey>, hi. <laughs> yeah, the builders blocked this door up from the other side, so now it's a door to nowhere. It's very exciting. So yeah, builders are doing work, um, but they've left us our kitchen currently because they're just building around it. It was still isolated. And then they're going to knock through. But yes, don't worry, we are still isolated from the builders because we can't go near them. We have to go through our garage to get to our garden. The drugs to pee. So I'm going to mix the, the dry thing. stuff. And mix the dress. Do I do it with this thing or this thing? So you can whip it together, but you do it on quite a slow speed. What? No, 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 honey. Okay. I know. No. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you the other one so you don't <laughs> pop it everywhere. Okay, okay. <laughs> So put that one. Gentle. <laughs> I love my mix so much. Oh, we have a new member. Hello to Sundana XX, our new member of the Cabin Fezzer Club. Mm -hmm. Lovely to have you. Hi. Very good. Good mixing. <laughs> She's doing well, huh? She's doing well. We're impressed with her. Okay, oh yes, apparently moving things a little did help. Yay! Very pleased that we could help you there. Oh my goodness. Yeah, for everyone just joining us, hello, we are making banana muffins live. Um, this is the dry stuff mix. Yay! In there is. Oh god, you just have 220 it, grams. Okay, you read it out. All right, so 220 grams of gluten-free flour, one tablespoon of flaxseed meal, one teaspoon of carbonated soda, half a teaspoon of salt. Now in a separate bowl, we're going to mix the wet ingredients. Which we are... need 120 millilitres of oil. Okay, do we have anything to measure that out? Uh, what? Do we have anything to measure that? What? Oh, sorry, I wasn't looking. 120 mils, how do I measure that out? With the jug that measures. Oh, the jug that measures has got the pancake mixer. Oh. So we have another one. What, oh, we have the thing that had the thing, but that was in... I put that in the baking box. Alright, well, can we just approximately... Oh, we have a new member called Augustus Cross. Can we just say that Augustus is a marvellous name? We name a child Augustus. This is 500 if it was full, so I'm reckoning a, a, <laughs> about a fifth of this originally. So about there. Yeah, so here, down to the, yeah, down to the top of the flower. Yeah. Precise measurements is fine. 
Hello to everyone joining us in different time zones. Uh, you may have been confused about the start time of this live stream because I completely forgot that England today set all of our clocks forwards an hour. Excellent ingredient. <laughs> um, the next, oh, and then you add 100 grams of sugar, but that's 10 grams of the artificial sugar. Oh yeah, that would make my mistake again. <laughs> Which, for anyone who uses artificial sugar, buy their own brand from the supermarket. It's so much cheaper. Ten grand. And the sucralose, because it's better for you. Oh, Ginger Ray, thank you so much for that super chat. Oh, no, it was a super sticker. Ten grams. Ten grams. It'll take you a little while to get there. Artificial sugar is incredibly light. Oh, what can great. I say? Daylight saving time is Are stupid, says Rose. Yes, Rose. Are these um, graduations that you 20 grams? Well, honey, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not very good at maths. <laughs> that's fine. Now, yeah, the last time they went very sweet. Well, no, I think it's, it's like twice as much as what's meant to be in there. I think that's going to be too sweet. All right, fine. Take a little bit out. Oh, we have two new members. Hi, welcome. Our first new member is Michaela Conda, and our second new member is Lauren. How did she manage to get the screen name Lauren? I must have gotten there early. Congrats, Lauren. Welcome to the Calvin Bows Art Club. Anyone who joins today, you... What? Oh, I'm just reading the rest. Just don't mind me. Anyone who joins the Calvin Bows Art Club today, you get access to all of the back videos, the behind the scenes, weekenders, things that I have done for the last year and a half now. I think. It's how long we've had the weekenders. How long? Yeah, I think so. Brown sugar alternative. We're using coconut sugar because again, Clara used my artificial brown sugar and then she didn't replace it. Clara. Just saying, Clara. Just saying. How much of this is needed? Huh? How much of this is needed? 10 grams. Thanks, wife. Oh, another new member. Smart like a fox. 0105. Hi, nice to have you. Also, Anne McTeer Davies. Hi. Don't forget now you've signed up for Calvin Fraser Club that <laughs> Clara's like, I forgot to replace it. Don't forget now you've signed up for the Calvin Fraser Club to email the KF Club at gmail.com with your birthday, which means that I will be able to put you into the birthday list and give you a birthday shout out in the weekenders videos, which I do at the end of every month. Oh, did we just and Sharon Porter has just joined as a new member? Hello, welcome. It's lovely to have you. Oh, and Clara message, don't say the email. Don't. Oh, it's so sunny. Oh. It's so sunny Sorry. now. Was I not meant Whether to say that out loud? Weird. Oh, no, I wasn't meant to say that out loud. Never mind. You weren't meant right. to say quite a lot of things out loud. Thing. You said out loud on this. <laughs> don't kill me, Clara. Um, next thing, have we got uh, oil, sugar, brown sugar, and eggs are all mixing together. Rebecca, thank you very much for that cute little super sticker there of a dancing pair. Appreciate it. I'm just being completely blown out in the background. So. <laughs> God doesn't really exist anymore. Oh, God. <laughs> the ghosts. No. I will jump back over here where I have a face. Oh, hi, Snow Sparkle Gems has left another. I love that you guys are just going with the pairs today in stickers. Are there other stickers available or just pairs? Is that what we're going with today? Oh, Lan Jones says it is their birthday today. Congratulations. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. How welcome to anyone else who might be having a birthday today? Oh, no Jackie around. says that Jackie just woke up, so great timing. Wonderful. Lovely to have you. <laughs> now you have to mash bananas. Oh, mash. Mash bananas. I was like, how do you wash bananas? Why would I make you wash bananas? I, I said wash bananas. Wash bananas. I mash bananas. Wash bananas. Add mash. the wet ingredients. Slowly add wet. How many bananas? All four of them? Three bananas. Didn't say three. It says three on the other side. It says three uh, wet bananas. Oh, okay. Oh, welcome, new member, Nia, Nia, 
Naya. I think NEA is pronounced Naya. You'll learn in the Cowboy Fraser Club. I'm terrible at pronouncing names. Absolutely no clue. And I butch them all the time. So right. I'm very sorry. I thought Hermione, me. when I read Harry Potter, was Herbie one. Well, you have speech problems. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I have hearing problems, so you know. Yeah. It's got speech and language problems together. <laughs> I wonder sometimes how we communicate. How do we? It does work. I think we, no. <laughs> we do that a lot. We just go. Oh, oh. It's fine. As long as you love someone, you don't really need to be able to communicate. <laughs> you just communicate to love. Oh. And oh, Clara's cat. Cool. Clara's Cats has left a super chat to say, I can't believe that you're streaming on the night that I happen to be up late. It is 2 a.m. for me. Wow. Where are you that it's 2 a.m.? Australia? Hong Kong? Hong Kong? No, I don't. <laughs> Thanks, Claudia. Excellent. <laughs> well, hello. Hello to everyone who should be asleep right now, but is uh, staying awake to watch. I have had some issues this week of staying awake. A, a little too much. And you go to bed and I just lie awake for an hour, slowly, quietly panicking. I stroked your head and then you went to sleep. Apart from that, I want to stroke your head. Yes! Yeah, yeah, yeah. We worked it out now. If she strokes my head whereas we're going to sleep, then I can actually get to sleep, which would be nice. Is Again, the bridge is blown out. Can we, like, click close the blind? I mean, what? Can I close the blind? You can try. I think if you close the blind, it will just be dark, dark, though. I don't know. Oh, thank you for the rainbow sticker there, Dark Espresso. Oh! She's got a bright idea, isn't she? Look at her. <laughs> oh, Olivia Francis Pike is on her own in uni accommodation, so this life is helping fight the loneliness. Oh my goodness. She's so cute. Look at her. It's adorable. <laughs> I'm not really sure what I'm meant to do at this stage, so I'm just like. It was like an advert for KitchenAid. We're all about that. <laughs> Love the kitchen. Wow. Yeah, it's got to be more much. Whee! It's going well. All right, yes, for anyone who's just joining us, Clara is in the comments typing <laughs> as me. <laughs> so it popped up. So many of you are saying that you're on your own in uni accommodation. Um, maybe we should try and start a thing on the Discord board for people who are on their own in uni accommodation. Oh, what next? Oh, yes. Carl J says, can we have a shout out to all the refuse workers who are so vital at this time? Indeed they are. Key workers takes in so many different roles and jobs, including things like bin men and people who come and get the recycling and people who work in any kind of food related thing. Do you know there are 90,000 um, farm workers missing in the UK right now? And they need to fill those jobs. That's crazy. It's not like they've just disappeared. You need to elaborate on that. Oh, way. they've not just disappeared. Sorry. They normally come from other countries, but obviously most countries are in lockdown and no one can travel. So that's an issue. But also, we need like people who are out of work currently here. We maybe would work in a pub to go and work in a farm. I would happily fruit pick, I think, if I wasn't like, you know, if I was not having yeah. to stay home and look after you. Oh, well, in the fresh air. <laughs> oh, I don't think that is <laughs> on an equal like par to like living and loving you. Thanks, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, if I was well and healthy, that would be really fun. We could go and fruit pick together, work on the farm. All right, we're going to put the wet stuff, mm -hmm. which is bananas and like substitute sugar and Oil. Eggs. Oil, yes, eggs into the dry. But we add it slowly. Ooh, that makes a nice noise. All right, I'm gonna turn on the oven. Cool, cool, cool. Do we have any walnuts? What? Do you have any walnuts? Yeah, walnuts. you don't like walnuts. No, but it's going to have something like that. We're just going to have a non, not have the nuts in it. 
I have more mats. We can put a few in, just have a bit of texture. Yeah. It's cool. Right. Um. Is it lagging for anyone else? I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. I'm so sorry, but this is lagging. Right. So everyone's working from home on the internet. Oh no, it's Sunday. I'm blaming everyone for working from home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can blame everyone for working from home, but we're still kind of stuck. So I think a lot of people are watching Netflix and the like. Yeah. Everyone's I, chatting to family on Zoom or Hangouts. True, true. I have become obsessed with Grey's Anatomy during this time of Indian's life. So different to my regular life. Not at all different. But yeah, I've been watching on Amazon Prime. It's Amazon different. Prime. I'm here. Oh, that's true. I really no, We haven't gone you. crazy with each other yet in a bad way. You've only been working for me for a week. <laughs> no, she's good. And also, see? if I do get, if I have, if I do get it, like it's a bit much. I just go and take a hold in the garden. Yes, true. <laughs> she's got her garden to go to to I leave. Know, we're very lucky. So we have a garden. We are very fortunate that we have a garden if we go outside. Oh my goodness! Do not envy flat life right now. All right. I need to turn the oven on to 180 degrees C or 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Keep talking, it's probably the most thrilling section of the live stream right now. Hi, I'm back. I turned the oven on. Excellent. Okay, we're going to put cupcake cases, or muffin cases, in this case because we're making muffins, into my lovely muffin tray. Where are my muffin cases? <laughs> Please oh. enjoy this uh, advert behind. for uh, oh, the KitchenAid, which is a great advert, I think. Okay. Excellent. These are my very beautiful little cupcake cases. I'm such a fan. Uh, they're from the v &A. And my friend Rose got them for me a while ago. <laughs> when I say a while, I mean eight years, maybe. Okay. That's how much you love them. You're like, I can't bear to put food in them. No, this is the problem, right? I think when you have baking things that are too pretty, you just don't <laughs> use them. So I've just been using the ugly ones. Because I'm like, oh, fine. But no, in this time of quarantine, I've realized we should make the most of what we have. So look, look how nice these are. Wait, can you see them? Okay, no, it's just gonna focus on my face. But look, they're adorable. I'll make Claudia take a beautiful picture with them to put on my Instagram. She's mixing, she's mixing things together. Oh, I always love seeing the chili emoji come up in the chat. It makes me so happy. She's just like, Yay! They're currently in the bed. What? The dogs are currently in their little bed. So oh, yes, the, the dogs kitchen. are currently in the bed. Wait, I wonder if I can... Oh, oh let's see if I can show you. Walter and Silly. Hi. Hey, guys. Hello. Just having a little sleep. <laughs> oh. They are currently having a little nap. It's all mixed up. You done it? I did it! Woo! We actually dance in our kitchen a bit. So. Yeah. Okay, the next thing to do is finally chop these walnuts. Okay, I can do, do it. it. Yeah! I'm still trying to put these in the cases, but I keep getting distracted. Right, we'll get there. We'll get there. Okay, just one or two. I can't feel the tips of my fingers because they paralyzed when I was like 17, and I never really got the sensation back. So I'm really bad at doing this, like taking cupcake cases apart and opening dog poo bags. I was about to say, and opening dog poo bags. <laughs> Was I just standing there, just like... I'll get it, Claudia. I'll get it. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. She's like, just give it to me. Sorry. 
I can't see that either because I've got bad rain. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad she has bad rain arts. So we both just stand there staring at some poo trying to open the poo bag. It's like, oh, <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> Let's not discuss dog poo whilst baking. Uh, thank you for the super chat, Chloe, who says, Adorable baking things are the best. Is Claudia still working? Well, uh, as I'm sure is the case in every single country, uh, every night the news changes and says something different and gives us different advice. And there we go. So it was going to be that she was doing emergency club cover. So she'd be working one day a week and on call for one other day of the week because only emergency people, only, we're only allowed to go to the dentist if we have a complete emergency. Now, it's like we're going But now, it's going to shut. It's shut, shut completely. I don't really know what that means. It's all changed. So, I'm not being redeployed. Rose Quill! Hi. Hi, nice to have you. Lovely to meet you. Thanks for being a new member. Um, but yeah, it's all up in the air, but we're going to try and keep as safe as we possibly can. Oh, someone said that reloading the page helped with the lagging. So if you're having that, I would advise trying to follow that. Um, oh, Roxanne, thank you for the super chat. She says, a big thanks. You helped me so much with my deafness when I got diagnosed and it made my English improve. Love you. Aw, thank you. I'm very pleased that we could have Oh, Ida! Ida is a new member with an adorable little, uh... Oh, man. The thing. The thing with the face. Avatar. Is that an avatar? No. I can't... No. Is that... Mm. Emoji? Emoji. No, an emoji is the... Uh, is the... I'm tired. <laughs> but it's fine because I put the muffin cases in the Anime. muffin tray. Huh? Anime. No, anime is definitely something different. <laughs> it's fine, guys. We're fine. Yes. All right. We're, we're just waiting for Claudia to finish. Oh, okay. Well, I chopped them up small, said that because I'm not a big fan, so I made them small. If you make them all much larger, you'll be able to pick them out. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't mind the taste small, just like I don't like coming across a big bit of nuts. Oh, that's a big bit of nut and some Nine nuts. Nine nuts. I like bananas. <laughs> okay, fine, sorry. Wait, what? Oh, <laughs> I'm trying to make a funny joke. Sorry, it takes me a moment to process. <laughs> I'm very much enjoying how this baking live stream is just having someone else do it for me. Like, this is good times. I've trained too well now. Well, I felt bad about that time when you did a live stream baking and I didn't come home. <laughs> I didn't know you were doing it. And you had it. Oh, yeah, we had any minute now. Any oh, minute yeah, now. my 50k live stream. Any minute now. I did, a 500, I did a 500k live stream where I made carrot cake. And as I was doing it, I was like, I'm going to save grating the carrots because Claudia will be home really soon. She'll come grate those carrots real soon. Real soon. That was all An bad. hour and a half later. No. I was, I was with my sister, by the way. I wasn't like, off having like some of Yeah, you were just having a nice dinner with your sister. So, right, sorry. it's ready. Okay, let's go. Well, we should we put it down there? So we run over the hold that you can hold that. We can angle the, uh, oh. Right, we'll pre-angle. <laughs> There we go. Looking <laughs> lovely. Oh, thank you. Hello. Belle asks in her super sticker, are people still getting paid there? People are just laid off here in the US. Um, massive discrepancy, I think, between different industries still. Uh, the government have said that they will pay 80% of wages to people who are employed, but not all companies are retaining people. They're still letting people go. So yeah. then obviously they're not, they're going to do that sort of, But they have just announced that they're going to pay 80% of self-employed people's no. wages. No. no, no. 
up to up they're going to look at your av monthly average earnings over the last three years of the tax returns and then pay you a maximum of up to two and a half thousand a month yes. as a lump sum in June for only three months yes so I don't the maximum know. amount you would get. I don't know what I said, but I meant to say that. So the maximum you would get as a self-employed person would it's be... It's snowing again. Oh. What is going on with this? Anyway, the point is, yes, the government are trying to help us as much as they can, but there's yes. no one's going to, not everyone's going to be happy. There's always going to be a group of people that aren't happy, but it's a difficult situation, isn't it? Yeah. So for the self-employed people who make under 50K, it covers 95% of people, which is amazing, but then obviously everyone who isn't in that group. We should be included too. You can have a piece, everyone. It is snowing, people. Snowing? Is it snowing where you are? It's been beautifully sunny all week. But it's changing. It's sunny and Claudia was out and... mowing the lawn in just her little t shirt only a few days ago. Yeah. Crazy. Let's just hope this whole coronavirus like, crisis is as, like, as changing as the weather is today, you know? Oh, okay. Like it will come as fast as the snow hasn't gone away. Does that make sense? Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Do we want it to be changeable though? Or do no, we just I just want it to go away. I just said it came really fast, mm. the snow, like mm -hmm. out of nowhere. Yeah. And then, and then some came back out. Yeah. I mean, we'll just ignore I mean, that. I mean, that's just the same back, yeah. Claudia, so. Yeah, yeah we'll just ignore that. Okay. Bad simile, okay? There was no oh, it's looking lovely. We'll show it to you then. I mean, we could just hold it right here and then you could see it. But you just talk about stuff. I'll just talk about stuff, she says. Okay, I'll just talk about stuff. Oh, definitely not snowing here, 70 degrees and sunny. I imagine you're in America because 70 degrees here is quite a lot. How many muffins is this meant to make, isn't it? What? How many muffins is it meant to make? Uh, Which I filled them up to the top of the cases. Yes. 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 Claudia <laughs> is trying to be poetic indeed. Oh! Oh! Look, it's not like an Instagram post, we've got time to rewrite <laughs> it, okay? <laughs> she writes beautiful Instagram posts, yes. <laughs> Go on, Jessie and Claude. You can see some of her better work. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put me on the spot. <laughs> yeah, she's not going to pressure. I won a, um, a best poetry reading, actually, when I was 10 years old oh. in my district. So oh. She... oh. And it was about the weather. It's not very long. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember that. Also, she could just rip out her favourites. Oh. Which is what? Which is what? Oh, you had speech therapy. Yes, I don't make fun of your disabilities. Oh, I'm not making fun of you. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to sound like I'm making fun of you. I did come out with some funny things when I was a kid. You still do. <laughs> she has a thing where she mixes words around, like malapropism. Malapropism. Does that work? Yes. <laughs> yes, it does. No, it's, uh, it's where you take a, you insert a word that sounds like the word that you mean, but yeah, it yeah. has a completely different meaning. Yeah. Or you, she creates words like trampoline. She loves that one. Yeah, I thought that was a word. It's a stampede. You people. should get trampled. Yeah, it's a stampede of trampoline. people. It's like, yeah. Oh, you know, you're like, don't be careful. It's just such a like, trampoline of people. You know, and everyone's Obviously. like, what, what is that? Like a stampede of tramps? It's like, no, it's like a lot of people. So what's everyone? Tupperware. Oh, yeah. Literally, said Tupperware for 10 years. <laughs> the only person who picked it up with you, really. You from watching you going yeah. Tupperware. Tupperware. Anyway. Oh, so uh, we've got a super chat that says, on the upside, this crisis is having a positive effect on the environment. True. And it shows that if we made some changes to how we live our daily lives, we could all be more sustainable. 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 There we go. Trying to save everything. Oh, they're almost ready to go in. 
wow, it is really heavy snowing again. Yeah. This isn't just a little bit of snow. This is a lot. Okay, I take it back about the whole coronavirus thing and like <laughs> making it similar to the weather. And that's really bad. But, uh, <laughs> it's the snow. It comes and it goes. <laughs> no, because it keeps coming back. Oh, yeah. So hopefully it's not like that. Ooh. People are sharing how hot or cold it is. I love that. Here. Linz says it's 24 degrees Celsius here in South Africa, and that's you guys having winter. Wow. That is very impressive. Claudia is hot, says Vipsky. Oh, nice. Yeah, I I agree. I agree. She is very, very hot. I didn't mean to suggest to me set my fingers right there. Yeah. Mm. Oh, nice. We have clean fingers. Don't worry, we wash our hands a lot. It was not saying that before I put it in my mouth. I'm just saying. Yeah. All right, I filled them up. Mm. Here they are, all ready to go in. Looking nice. Just peeling out the edges. Don't mind me. All right. Okay. I. Oh, that was clever. I really miss our hide and slide oven. <laughs> we have another oven for the Brooknell house, and it's currently in the garage waiting for this kitchen to be redone. Ooh. Because the hide and slide is so much safer, you have to lean over. Oh! Wow. So, now it's just going to be in the oven for a little bit. So, if you guys like to ask any questions, let's do a quick QA, shall we? Okay, how long is it being in the oven? Oh, yeah, it needs 20 to 25 minutes, which should probably set an alarm. Yeah, but we should not really, I think we should just like take pictures of them all. Oh, okay. I think we have 20 minutes. Oh, oh darling, are you done? <laughs> I don't know, you know, this is quite a lot of socialising for me. <laughs> I'm naturally an introvert, I, you know. It's okay, you can be done, honey. <laughs> She's trying to show you her fluffy apron. There we go. All right. Do you want me to? You want to go sit down? <laughs> All right. You can go have your tea in the other room. All right. Thanks. Thank you for helping me bake. You're welcome. I will call you when things have to come out of the oven. All right. Let's set an alarm. Probably a good place to start. Okay. Oops. Oh, Jessica is not wearing a brooch. It is indeed an embroidered jumper that's from Collective. Thank you. Oh, Belle Harmison says, you guys are relationship goals. Aww. Thank you. That's really cute. I appreciate it. Okay. And 20. We're going to give it 22 minutes. Start. Oh, Claudia started spritzing the surfaces. <laughs> she... <laughs> Go on. Do your services. So when we were looking to plan the new kitchen, all the kitchen designing, we had to make sure that there were wipeable surfaces for Claudia because it's her favourite thing to do in the kitchen. <laughs> she's like, she's got to spread that surface and just wipe it down. Yeah, and this stuff is so nice. The Method uh, lavender one. Oh. It's also eco-friendly. It is. There's also this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is their kids. We have the whole range. <laughs> In other rooms. <laughs> it is good. It feels smart good. Well done. I'll take my weirdness away now. Huh? I'll take my weirdness no. away now. <laughs> You're not weird. Bye. I'm staying. She's going. All right. Hi. <laughs> Edwin says, Jessica and Claudia, can you please adopt me? I'll send my resume. I mean, I wasn't aware that adopted children needed to send resumes first. But... All okay, right. We'll consider. Okay. Let's have a little list. 
Um, bah, bah. Okay, questions. Julie says, Jessica, have you had any issues with running into people wearing masks and not being able to communicate because you couldn't read their lips? Um, this isn't an issue that I have run into at the moment because I've not left my house. So I've not really seen people wearing masks. I yeah, I'm in my house and then I go to what? There aren't people. Yeah, but have, have I seen people wearing masks? Oh. You went to the shops, okay? You've been places. <laughs> I've been in our house, in the garden, and to the local park where we didn't go near anyone or talk to anyone because we we're all like trying to keep our two meter distance. And then it's a bit funny because children have got no clue. And children are just try and walk along in the center of the path, and you can see the adults on the side, like, apart from that girl who very cutely held her breath. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this little girl walked past us and had clearly been told, like, don't go near people. Um, it's in the air, it's if you breathe it in. So every person she walked past on this path, she was like, <gasps> <laughs> I was like, I mean, you're going to come across a problem if you do find a crowd because perhaps you should tell your child she is allowed to breathe. Um, so yeah, haven't run into the issue of not being able to lip read people currently. Have had that issue before in hospitals when I've been around people wearing masks. Also, my own wife, who is my dentist, uh, because whenever I go in for dental treatments, she wears her mask, and I'm like, cool. And then we sign to each other. Uh, her sign is improving, mainly because I go for dental treatment. What can I say? Oh, thank you for another little lovely pair there, Kimberly, having a little dance. Oh, Dream says that they love my hair today. Thanks. I did nothing with it. Uh, my lipstick shade, this one right here, is the Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour in Matte in 117. I don't know if it has a name. 117. Um, because if you saw my uh, cruelty-free lipstick video that went out on Friday, this is my favorite lipstick and I'm trying to replace it and use up what I have because it's not cruelty-free, which is a bummer. Oh, I've gone out of focus. Da -da -da -da. Oh, Smart Like a Fox says, love the husband for letting me watch this on RTV. Love to your husband. Okay. I am looking for some questions. Do, 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 do. Oh, it just jumped. Did you get Disney Plus? I did not get Disney Plus. I know. I'm feeling a bit tempted though, because obviously it's a great time to get a streaming service. I'm currently really, really obsessed with Grey's Anatomy because I just, I for some reason, in this time of medical panic and crisis, Watching people have really outlandish medical issues, because obviously in Grey's Anatomy you can't just be like a little bit ill. You have to have the rarest disease ever that there are only three people who have it, and they all somehow go to Seattle Grace Hospital. Madness. And um, and people talk about all of their weird relationship drama that would probably be solved if they all just talked to each other honestly and openly for a little bit and stopped sleeping with this person and then this person and then like surely they've all slept with each other at this point. Very confusing. But Amazon Prime only has it up to season six. I don't know what I'm going to do when I get to the end of season six. Bad times. I may have to get, I think they have it on Netflix, but only in the US. So I'm going to have to get a VPN or something just so I can keep watching it. That was a long answer to just you get Disney Plus. Mm -hmm. Okay, who is your fave on Grey's Anatomy? Izzy. Izzy is my fave. Um, I'm only at the start of, am I? Yes, I'm only midway through season four, so don't give me any spoilers. Izzy is currently my favorite. Don't tell me if she does anything terrible that makes her no longer favorite to category, favorite category. My least favorite is Meredith, who is very self-centered and um, annoying. And I, I'm really not in any way interested in the whole Meredith and, De and Derek dynamic. It's like, it's so boring, it's so over, it's so done. What is this drama? Not interested. Ugh, just, I don't know, get married already, you know? Also, I think Addison was the best. I loved her. And now she's gone, now she's gone. I really enjoyed how every 
every episode there was some cool pregnancy or baby related thing because she was there. <sighs> All right, hello. Uh, oh my gosh, lots of questions. I'm trying to scroll. This thing keeps jumping. So, Indie Kitty One said in the super chat, you are so sweet together, I wish I could meet you. It might sound weird, but could you hug each other? Oh, she's gone. I'll give her a hug when she's back. Um, in terms of meeting people, by the way, Summer in the City hasn't been cancelled, even though they've decided to turn the XL Centre, where Summer in the City is, to a massive hospital called the Nightingale, where they're going to be treating people who have COVID. And I think my brother might be working there eventually, because he is a doctor who does ICU respiratory problems. So that's why here we go. Um, Jenna Thornton says, are your pups getting stir crazy? They're not, they're really not, because they're lap dogs. And Walter and Tilly just want to sit next to us and be cuddled, and that's it, really. Walter doesn't even like one walk a day. You take him on the walk and he kind of like, oh, fine, 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 fine. Oh, it's so boring. Why are we walking around? No point in anything. <gasps> a picnic! That's worth it. Very forward until he spots that there might be food in the distance and then it's gone. And then Walter's quite deaf now, so you can't really call him back. Um, <laughs> you can clap, but he can't he can't hear your voice, but he can hear clapping quite well. Because it's a different tone, which we get. We all have different levels of hearing. Um, yeah, cool. But Tilly is very happy to go on her one walk a day, have a ball thrown. She's actually getting more walks now that Claudia is not working in his home than she was before. So she's also quite tired, so that's pretty good. Uh, that. Next question. How are you coping? I'm coming out in hives. Lorraine Howie, she's saying sorry, actually, there you go. Lorraine Howie says, how are you coping? I'm coming out in hives because of it all. Has set off the health anxiety. Oh my goodness, yes. I'm seeing this everywhere, people saying that it's if they already have health anxiety, like, this is not helping. Um, I, yeah, to start with, when it was less of an issue, when it was being taken less seriously by authority figures, I was more panicked um, because I've had pneumonia before and I've dealt with having respiratory problems. I, also, that's a side note, but anyway. So I've dealt with having these kinds of things before. I've had pneumonia twice, I've had bronchitis four times. I know how it feels. I'm kind of terrified of going back there. And when it's been taken less seriously, that freaked me out. I'm like, no, 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 this is serious, this is real. But now that it is being taken seriously, now that the major like, now that the country is on lockdown and everyone is enacting social distancing measures, I'm finding myself much calmer because I feel like the infrastructure is being put in place and if I have low level symptoms, they would be taken seriously. So yeah, it's panicking, that's panicking me less. The food situation panics me quite a lot because even though I've had a lot of respiratory problems in the past, and I think there are a huge number of people who fall into the same category as me here, where we are vulnerable to diseases, we're vulnerable to infections like this, but we don't fit into the very narrow category of a very vulnerable person, which means that we get access to food first. So I'm like panicking about the fact that I don't get to, <laughs> don't get to get food first. It's fine, it's fine. Well, no, don't Sorry, just talking about my food anxiety. <laughs> But you know what, guys? It's going to be fun. It's all going to be Have you seen the muffins? Oh, should we? I'm going to bring you guys you to see. Now it rises. It's a really self raising flower instead of normal flower. Can you see them? Can you see them? There they are. They're looking good. Muffins are supposed to come out. That's true. Mm -hmm. Trying to bring you steadily back. I get in trouble with my mother every time we FaceTime because she gets motion sickness. And so if I move my phone too much, she's like, no, stop, I'm gonna be sick. Sorry, 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 sorry. 
Oh, good question, Hannah. Hannah Dale asks, how are you dealing with pots in quarantine? I have pots and my symptoms are flaring up because I'm not moving around as much. This is a weird thing when it comes to pots, is that you, um, every time, if you do too much exercise, it has a really negative impact on your body. If you don't do any exercise at all, it also has a negative impact on your body. And you have to find your personal level of what you can and can't do. Um, so for me, I try and make sure that, <laughs> this is fine, it, it helps that I need to go to the toilet a lot. So every, more than every hour, maybe every half hour, I have to go to the loo. So that means I have to stand up and I try and go to the toilet, maybe if it's furthest away, because then I'm getting my exercise. <laughs> I'm walking all the way, going up some stairs. If you don't have stairs, I would suggest every half hour, get up, give yourself a little shake around, a little shake down if you can, move yourself around. I found that uh, little and often works much better, like a half hour Pilates thing with me. Um, it, while we're in quarantine, she's like, if we're going to a class, it'd be great. If I, you go to classes, I go. Okay, next question. Oh, the new Milan. Oh my gosh. So, uh, Alexandra Espinosa just mentioned that they are dying to go and see the new Milan, and I am too. I was going to go and see it um, for a press show screening, and I was really excited, and it was going to be a whole big event, and there was going to be stuff happening, but no. Obviously, I got cancelled because the entire thing has been now pushed back. Oh my goodness, we just got two new members. Hi, Ali Woodgate and Charlie Cunningham. Hello and welcome to the Calvin Fraser Club. Yeah, remember guys, you can subscribe, subscribe? join. You can join the Calvin Fraser Club uh, whilst the live stream is happening. And when you join, it gives you access to all the back catalog of club stuff. So you can see all of the posts that are in the community tab, just for members, and you can see the videos and live streams, I think we've done two, three, three live streams, um, that are specifically for members. Whoa, that's sunlight. Okay, wow, white it out. For anyone who is just joining us, we've been baking banana muffins in a baking bed live type of way. They're currently in the oven, and my God, do they smell delicious. Ooh. Right, okay, apparently we've got another seven minutes until we take them out, but they smell really good. They smell really, really good. Okay. Oh, Chance O'Malley says, definitely get a VPN. It has been invaluable in these quarantine times. I am looking into that. Uh, Jean Della says, have you watched Marvelous Mrs. Maisel yet? Yes. What a show. What a show. And not only what a show, what clothes. I really like just getting dressed up, um, so I'm gonna do some. I just I was planning to do a photo shoot um, with more. Oh, words! I was planning to do a photo shoot around now. Spring-like, throw all the blossoms out, and like, well, that's like nice little fifties outfits. Look cute. But obviously that's been cancelled. But I might try and replicate that with my wife. Somewhere around our house or our garden. We will see. Right, hello. Next question. Oh, Sophie Lee says, I know what you're going to do at the end of season six of Grey's Anatomy. Fine. Okay, now I'm scared. Oh no. Okay, well, I've, I've definitely got to find, I don't think I'll find a way then. Um, let's see, Belle Carmerson says, do you have a favorite era of retro clothing? I'm sorry if you said it uh, 200 times. Uh, no, my favorite era of retro clothing, I tend to be, I'm not a retro, I'm not a vintage purist. I'm not a vintage purist, guys, as I'm sure you all were. Uh, those of you who follow me on Instagram, I don't think that you should look at eras. Well, if you, me personally, I don't enjoy just looking at an era and be like, I'm going to replicate every single thing they have. 
I'm more of a, oh, I really like the dress, this, this 1952 dress, but I really like the shoes that are 1945, so I'm going to add them together because I think that's fine because it's 2020 and unless you're specifically dressing up because you're really, really, really into one year or one, I mean, a decade, I think is too much. You can't really, style changes a lot within a decade. But unless you're into one very specific era of time and you like to have your hair and makeup and everything exactly the same way, I don't think that's the only way you can enjoy vintage. I think that you can just enjoy taking little bits here and there and adding them all together and have that be your own vintage style. I mean, I'm wearing an apron right now that's probably... Wow, that's so bright. I'm so sorry. So I'm wearing a 1950s skirt. I mean, the cut of this top is... I, mean, I guess we could call this 50s as well. My hair is certainly not 50s. My hair is like, I don't know, 80s does 1940s. I don't have the hair of a married lady. If I did, if I was more of a purist, I would have my hair up, most likely. Um, but yes, so my favourite era is definitely taking inspiration from the 40s and 50s and just mixing it with whatever makes me happy. I also do love, I've got to be honest, some of, um, you know, some styles from the 1800s I enjoy. I don't know how to wear them, but I very much enjoy looking at them. Okay, whoa, hi. What's going on? <laughs> Miss Marv, hi, you're live. Oh my God, hello. Um, oh, Gothy Ragdoll, hey, says, question, I love you, put question between Tilly's, so I've noticed, it worked. Best distraction for hip pain. <gasps> wow, you're feeling me. I have been dealing with hip pain myself at the moment because we took the dogs for a walk um, on quite uneven ground. Apparently, I can't handle that. Who knew? And so it was uneven and I had one leg, one foot here and one foot here and then... Now my hip really hurts, and it's been really annoying when I'm trying to deal with that. Um, I have been finding that Epsom salt baths actually really good. I just did a collaboration with Dr. Teal's Epsom salts, and they sent me loads of different ones. Oh, such a blessing. They're so good. They're so good. They've been really helping because I haven't obviously been able to go to my chiropractor or get any kind of treatment for my body. Normally I like to go to a chiropractor and I also find that deep tissue massages are really, really helpful when it comes to muscle aches and that kind of thing, which sucks. But the Epsom salts have been really helpful at the moment. Also, if I'm not just sit on the floor, I'm really bad at this. I spend a lot of time on the floor. The floor is great but it's not good for my hips. There we go, that's what I'm trying to say. Not good for the hips. All right, next question in this incredibly fast moving thing. Oh, Rose Quill has just mentioned with 1890s clothing is so pretty that the course too makes my ribs hurt. Even if they're pretty correctly, because how messed up my ribs are, but it does help my back pain and is so pretty. Well. Oh, hang on. By the way, sorry for all of the bots that are apparently going on right at the moment. Sorry about that. Someone seems to be spamming. Spamming. Oh, yes, also. No, right. Car is on it. Car is on it. Well done. Okay, I was going to say corsets. I am <laughs> in the middle of making a video about corsets. Um, that I think it's been scuppered slightly by there being a worldwide pandemic. So I'm going to make a video about corsets because I have a scoliosis that means that my body is very different on two sides. This one kind of this side curves in. See if I can show you in this terrible light and whilst wearing it. So if you can see that side is very rounded and that side's straight down and then the back, oh, see? So it goes in on this side and then straight down 
on that side. And that's because I have two pairs in my spine. The top one goes this way and the bottom one goes that way, which is why it pushes out here and here. And I agree, wearing corsets is really, wearing very tight clothing is incredibly helpful for me. And it really helps um, when it comes to pressure and pain, so that's really great. But obviously you can't wear ones that are just off the rack because those ones are very straight down. Oh, my phone's flashing. Timer, okay. Oh, sorry. Oh no, sorry, was that going for a while? Wife! Wife, wife, wife. Time to take things out with the oven. Let's take them out, let's see what they're like. Yeah, yum. Oh yeah, but so, right, so, corset video, coming at some point in the future. It smells oh, good in here. hi. Okay, oh, quick question. Lydia Francis Pike says, any advice on how to get food if I have no one here, I can't go out and my best delivery. All right, uh, so I asked this on uh, Twitter the other day because I was really struggling with how the hell to get food when absolutely no supermarket is delivering. Um, it seems really stupid that you have to go stand in a supermarket if you're isolated, but you must be near people. Um, so I don't know where you are in the world of Libya because it's probably very different. But in our, uh, in England, and where we live in Brighton, restaurants are still delivering. So restaurants and takeaways are an option. However, there are also a number of um, farmers, farm delivery boxes that are delivering and at the moment will be delivering more than what they normally do. So they might just do a fruit and veg box normally, but currently they'll add on milk and eggs and some like, meat from the local butcher as well. So have a look at that rather than going straight for the supermarkets because they're way oversubscribed. Have a look to see if any local places nearby. There are also, someone told me a great app. It's a great app that they told me about called Be Livery, which um, goes to local corner shops and will go to other shops for you if you ask them. Please, people, add in any tips down here. I also asked on my Instagram, so you can go and have a look at the tips that are in the comments there. It's people from all different countries with you. There might be comments. some like local Facebook community groups with like neighbours in the area that are willing to shop with other. Oh yeah, neighbours. So Claudia's sister is heavily pregnant and has a doctor and works as a doctor. So she uh, can't really go to the supermarket, but her neighbours are all getting food delivered and adding extra things for their neighbours. So if you've any way of contacting neighbours and asking for help, definitely try that one out. Which is I'm just going to show you the comments. Okay, this post on my Instagram, I asked for uh, comments, people to leave comments on top tips for getting food in their area. So have a look, your tips can be different for every area. And everyone, please leave any tips that you have. All right, they're ready. Oh, my friends are ready. I'll bring them in. Can I eat one? Ta da! Ah. They actually look pretty good. We made nothing. Mm. Okay, let's have a look. Yeah. Oh, Olivia. Olivia says she's in a small seaside town in Wales. All right, Olivia. Facebook. Right, let's open up these muffins. Oh, you could also consider things like Amazon food. I don't know. Amazon does sell food. I don't know if it sells, it sells groceries in America and not in the UK, but it does sell some food related in the UK. Okay. Muffin. You want a little bit of muffin? Mm. 
los más. Mm. Good job. Mm. Woo! Wasn't so bad today. It's like bacon. Medium okay. <laughs> <laughs> Baking improved. <laughs> <laughs> Baking, we're getting better at this. All right, so shall we wrap that up? Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us at the end of our first week of quarantine. Next week, there will be the normal two videos uh, one out on Tuesday and one out on Friday, as normal, unless anything goes wrong. In which case, not going to go wrong. I don't know, but sometimes videos take a bit longer to edit than you expect. Anyway, and next Sunday there will be another live stream uh, to mark the end of week two of quarantine. Be keeping you all company, having another lovely hour with you guys, hanging out. If you have any suggestions for what you'd like to see on the next live stream, then do leave them in the comments or head over to my Instagram. Thank you. Oh, is that in my eye? Mm. Oh, yeah, I can't see out of my eyes. Sometimes stuff gets in it and someone else has to remove it. Anyway. Mwah. I think we should, uh, we should make an Easter tree. Okay. Let's make an Easter tree next week again. We'll see you next week. Stay safe. Mm. Stay home. Save lives. Look after yourselves. Mwah. Bye, everyone. Bye. Yes. <laughs> you have to click again. <laughs>